Tony, thank you. 114 days now since the bridge breakdown and today Providence unveiled a new plan to reduce traffic on city streets. That includes moving the South Water Street bike lanes. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill joins us now with what the mayor is proposing and what bikers think about it. Lauren? Well, Kim, my Mayor Brett Smiley says the goal is to improve pedestrian safety, alleviate traffic and prevent additional damage to local streets. But some are not happy about the proposed changes to the South Water Street bike lane. The city of Providence trying to alleviate the continued burden of the Washington Bridge closure, working with RIDOT to implement a series of temporary and permanent infrastructure changes. We're talking about restriping, we're talking about um, a high visibility pedestrian crossing sign, uh, and then you know moving the stop lines to make it easier um, to detour uh, and deter. Uh, 18 wheelers. One of the more controversial changes removing the bike lane on South Water Street to bring back two lanes of travel. The mayor calling this segment of the trail ill conceived. This bike lane has had some uh, challenges from the get go that have been exacerbated by the Washington Bridge. At the same time, they'll start the planning to relocate the lane to the race sidewalk on South Water Street. Among those opposing this plan, Sam Archer, who says he rides his bike on this path every day as part of his commute from East Providence to Boston. What I'm worried about is adding a second lane for cars on that section of South Water Street uh, could make it back into a uh, a very dangerous crossing for pedestrians and other people who are using the area. With safety in mind, Mayor Smiley plans to implement a raised crosswalk at the intersection of South Water and James Streets. That will enhance and improve pedestrian safety for everyone who's trying to access the park. And it also reflects feedback that I've heard from the councilman in the area, Councilman Goncalves, about uh, previous concerns around drag racing. But the mayor also says it's likely there will be a time during this process where the street has no bike lane. Driving down a, a lane of car traffic with cars behind you and is uncomfortable for anyone. I'm a hardened bike commuter, uh, so I do it. But I really can understand why other people are reluctant to try under those conditions. Now, Councilman John Goncalf says there are still unanswered questions about the mayor's plan. He and other councilors are submitting a resolution opposing the lane removal at tomorrow night's meeting and will hold a public hearing before for more input. Live in studio, Lauren Brill, 12 News.